Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about link layer discovery protocol or LLDP. So LLDP actually advertises or discovers information about neighboring devices. For instance, if you focus here in this network, these are some devices like this router. So this router, if we enable LLDP, then this router will start sending information about itself so it may be its name or something we'll discuss just in a moment so it will send and receive the message and in those messages they will advertise or receive some information about uh, themselves and they will receive information from the neighbors and uh, this is actually not a proprietary protocol so one of the similar protocol we discussed uh, in previous video as well that was CDP so that is actually Cisco discovery protocol so that's also a discovery protocol but that's a proprietary protocol by Cisco LLDP is not a, a proprietary protocol so what happens here so for illustration I have shown here and yes I'll, I'll show the packet tracer demonstration after this uh, brief discussion so you can see for example we if we have enabled LLDP on this router so this router will start sending LLDP DU, so LLDP data units. So now they will send this, uh, this information to the neighboring router. So this is just shown in one direction. So if this router is also enabled, so this router needs to be enabled for LLDP. So it will also receive it. And if this is enabled for transmitting, then this will also send exactly same kind of messages in other directions as well. So in this LLDP, there is a sequence of type length value details. So type length uh, value details will, will dictate that what information is being exchanged between these neighboring devices. And now each neighbor they will receive this information, this LLDP data units, and they will store that information in MIB. So MI stands for Management Information Base. So that's kind of database where they will store this all information which was advertised or which was received by this router, for instance. And then if you want to retrieve that information, for example, from this router, if you want to see or we want to retrieve that information what is in the database then we actually use this SNMP protocol simple network management protocol to retrieve that information now question is what information is collected during this exchange of messages so the there are uh, just I'm going to mention few of them so first information is the identification of the device so for example this device will receive the information about the neighbor host that can be the host name and the address so management address that we need to configure it and that's uh, that can also be advertised and the platform the model and the operating system of the neighbor device and the port identifier so this port identifier will be actually the interface on the other end that sent the CDP advert not CDP but LLDP advertisement link layer uh, discovery protocol and this also has the information about capabilities whether the neighbor is for example a router or a switch that information will also be sent as well as received so now with this basic uh, discussion let's move to packet tracer for further uh, demonstration